Okay, hi guys. It's been a while since my last video. Um, just to be honest, uh, I've just not been feeling too energetic, not too confident. But I thought I would harness um, my low mood to make a video about how to overcome it and how to sort of surpass these feelings. If you're feeling in a mood where you maybe you want to relax or you've just got time to relax, you've maybe just finished a long day at work or just finished a long day at uni, maybe you're even stressed and you're aware that you're stressed and you just need to just take it down a notch. Um, so the first thing to do is kind of relax your body, um, you know, physically. What I do is you don't also your breathing, just leave your breathing as it is, don't also breathe, don't breathe too much or you'll hyperventilate and that's bad. What you do is and then breath, you're aware of where all the tension lies in your body. So in the in breath, I'm aware that there's a lot of tension in my neck and my um, my forehead as well actually. So I'm aware of this, my neck and my forehead. And then breathe out. And on the out breath, I'm just imagining the tension just flow out in my body, just like sort of melt away. So in breath, I can feel it's a little bit tense. Out breath, it's just like melting. The mu it's like the muscles are just relaxing. Okay, so now that you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, or when you're feeling a bit more relaxed after these breathing things, what I find useful, and this is the main thing I want to touch on today, is um, awareness of senses. So that's touch, taste, smell, sight, and sound. Let's start with touch. Okay, so that's feel, it's, it's not just like, it's the end sort of pressure on your body. You just... Take a step back, you can close your eyes if that helps. So what you're doing is you're just describing what the feeling is. So I'm describing that the chair is, you know, got a little bit of padding and then the cushion is quite well padded. You know, I'm just describing it, I'm just aware of it. I'm just focusing on where there's pressure, where there's touch and that happens to be the chair. And all the other things just flow out, just channel your thoughts into that. So that's one. And then obviously you just kind of repeat that for the other ones. Um, for taste, I've actually got a bit of a sore throat right now. Um, so I was saving this <laughs> for this video. So again, you can close your eyes if that helps. This is just like a throat lozenge. And just be aware of the taste. Not necessarily is it a nice taste, more just like what can I taste? So right now I can taste strawberry. That's pretty much it. It's quite an artificial strawberry, not a natural strawberry. Again, channeling sort of all my mind and focusing on what the flavours are and what I'm tasting in my mouth. Um, almost everything else just blanked out, all that I'm thinking about is the taste. And the rest, smell, I'll just give examples. Um, smell, it could be a candle or an incense stick or even something like just what, when you're walking outside, the smell of the trees, smell of freshly cut grass. Again, just focusing your mind solely on that one sense. Another one, sight. Um, this one's quite tricky because your eyes, they take in a lot. There's a lot to take in. So the key with the sight one is to just describe what you're seeing um, on a very superficial level. So if you're walking past a wall and say it's got, you know, um, moss on it, just describe the colour of it. So, okay, the moss is green and the wall is grey and the cement's maybe a little bit of a darker grey or a lighter grey. You know, just like describe the colours of what you see. So I'm looking up there right now and my calendar's got a few shades of orange, one's a dark orange, 
one's a light orange and I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just focusing my mind on what colours I can see and what the shades are you know very superficial and finally obviously that just leaves sound Um, again you should probably close your eyes for this music is probably the best example I can give and probably classical music um, in particular. Last night, for instance, I was listening to a classical song when I was trying to sleep and it really helped. You can kind of tune out to it and what, what I was doing was I was focusing on if the music was, you know, ascending or descending, you know, if there was, if it was loud and if it was silent and how sort of the tone, the mood of the music changed with the different instruments and the different notes and stuff. It's good to have music without words because the words make it a bit more complicated. You kind of focus on the words. Whereas if you just focus on instruments, it's kind of a lot easier to take in. But that's those senses. And um, yeah, I know it might sound a little bit weird at first, um, but I was actually taught this by several people. First, my clinical psychologist that I saw twice weekly at the... Um, intensive eating disorder unit that I went to as an outpatient after my inpatient stint. Um, and then just recently my occupational therapist, which is another outpatient clinic, has been really going into this with me. Um, she's been taking me on walks and stuff to do this. So yeah, um, it's definitely, it's not, you know, it's, it's like a clinical, it's professional. So it's a known thing and it really, really helps me. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And I, I, again, I do not know when I'll be back on YouTube, but um, whenever I think of an idea or something. <laughs> okay, bye for now.